Hi, I welcome you all to the Vedic Math series part 2. This is the video series by T Mast, and we get a lot of cool stuff for you. So let's begin. In the second part of this video, we got you 3 into 3 multiplication of numbers. So for an example, you get to multiply 1 to 5 into 132. So how do you solve it? We will not follow the conventional methods of multiplication but we will follow Vedic Maths just to save time. We'll do it as fast as possible. So let's see how to do it. We'll write the numbers in the same fashion as we did in the previous video A, B, C, D. So just there's a little difference that we have six numbers here. So we'll write A, B, C and D, E, F. So here we get A equals to 1, B equals to 2, C equals to 5 and Similarly, we get D equals to 1, E equals to 3, and F equals to 2. So now, let's see the steps that we are going to follow for this multiplication. The first step being, we multiply C into F. It's the same as from the 2 into 2 multiplication method. Next, we'll multiply B into F and C into E. Plus, if there is any carry from the previous step, now we'll multiply a into f plus d into c plus b into e and a carry if any so you can see from the visualization that it's uh, first we multiplied 1 3 c into f then second we multiplied b into f and c into e now we are multiplying the three times so uh, you getting a pattern here so next step we get we multiply a into e plus d into b and a carry if any from the previous step in the next step we just multiply a into d so let's see how we can multiply 1 to 5 into 1 3 2 so first of all we'll follow the step 1 we'll multiply 5 into 2 which gives us 10 and we have a carry of 1 and we write the number 0 Next, we multiply 2 into 2 plus 3 into 5, which gives us 4 plus 14 plus 1 equals to 20. So now we have a carry of 2 and we write the 0 next to the first 0. In the third step, we'll multiply 2 into 1 plus 5 into 1, which gives us 7 plus 3 into 2, which is 7 plus 6 plus the carry 2 from the previous step. So we get the total is 15 and now we write the 5 number and we get the carry as 1 the carry 1 moves on to the next step in the step 4 we multiply 1 into 3 plus 1 into 2 which gives us 3 plus 2 so we get the carry 1 from the previous step and we add 3 plus 2 plus 1 equals to 6 and we write the 6 and in the next step we just multiply 1 into 1 and we write it in the answer so we get 16500 as the answer so it's very easy in just five simple steps in five very easy multiplications we just get to know how to get the multiplication for 3 into 3 digit numbers so this is very easy i guess so let's see another example example 2 in which we multiply 136 into 151 here we just will multiply first 6 into 1 we get 6 no carry moving on to the next step we multiply 3 into 1 plus 6 into 5 which is 33 now we get the carry as 3 moving the carry to the next step and writing 3 next to 6 we get here 1 into 1 plus 1 into 6 plus 3 into 5 which gives us 1 plus 6 plus 15 and we have a carry of 3 from the previous step we just add all the numbers 1 plus 6 plus 15 plus 3 equals to 25 so we just write 5 next to 36 and we get the carry as 2 which will move to the next step so in the next step we multiply 5 into 1 plus 1 into 3 which gives us 5 plus 3 plus 2 from the previous step carry equals to 10 so we have a carry of 1 now and 0 written next to 
zero five three six in the answer. So now we just multiply one into one plus one as a carry, and we get two. So we write two zero five three six is the answer. So this is pretty much very very easy how to multiply three into three digit numbers. So let's take another example, like seven twenty five into eight ninety seven. Pretty big numbers. So first of all, I'll let you know that let's try to do this. But for these big numbers, we do not follow this method. Let's find out why. So we are going to multiply here. Seven into five, we get thirty-five. We get a carry of three. Write five there. In the next step, we just multiply seven into two plus nine into five, which gives us. Fourteen plus forty-five plus three, and the carry from the previous step equals to sixty-two. We just write two, and the carry is six. So in the next step, we multiply seven into seven plus eight into five plus nine into two. So we get forty-nine plus forty plus eighteen plus six as the carry equals to one hundred and thirteen. We write three, and the carry is eleven. In the next step, we multiply seven into nine plus eight into two. Which is sixty-three plus sixteen plus eleven as the carry from previous step equals to ninety. So we write zero and we carry the number nine. In the next step, we multiply seven into eight. Fifty-six plus nine equals to sixty-five. So we write sixty-five here and we get our complete answer. But you can see that using the this particular method for these big numbers is not the right way to do. The multiplication. So, if you get these big numbers, you don't follow this three into three multiplication method. You follow another method, and I am providing the link of that uh, another video to uh, solve these big numbers multiplication in the description. Do check it, uh, and I'll give you these problems to try for yourself, and I'll just give you one twenty seconds. For these numbers, just try it out for yourself, uh, and you can know that the second question is not to be done with this method, but you can try it. So, just try on with the another method I'm giving in the description link. Do try it. So, do subscribe as there are a lot more videos coming up, and be must and keep rocking. I'll see you in the next video soon. Thank you and bye bye.